today's word, the prophetic word comes to us. If you have your Bibles, let's take our Bibles out. Let's turn to Isaiah chapter 49. And verse 18. Isaiah 49, verse 15, please. 15. Isaiah 49 and verse 15. Here God is asking a question. Isaiah 49 and verse 15 says, Can a woman forget her nursing child? How many mothers do we have here? We have a lot of mothers in our church. Thank God for them. God asks a question here, can a woman forget her nursing child? As a woman, we may forget many things, but we do not forget our nursing child. Even though they become big, we remember the day they were born. It was on a mother's day. You know, I was in the hospital delivering Josh. And I remember the day they handed the baby to me. I remember every detail of it as though it was yesterday. I even remember how I lifted and said, God, a mother cannot have gotten a better gift than this on the Mother's Day. Yes, I was in pain and I was recovering in the hospital, but there was so much joy in my heart. I was telling Josh this morning when he came to me and wished me a happy Mother's Day today. You know, can a mother, can a woman forget her nursing child is what God is saying. Only to assure that he will not forget you. And God's word goes on to say, and not have compassion on the son of her womb. You know, as mothers, there is one quality we have. We always have the compassion on the children. Even when they work hard, we have compassion on them. If they are in, in the sports field and the coach is just drilling them with those shots, we have compassion. There were times I would just say, you know, how many balls he has to take, you know, the, the coach will keep on hitting the ball at him. He has to take it, everything. And if he misses, you know, he'll say, you can do better than that. You can do better than that, Josh, you know. For a mother, you know, she has compassion on the children. God is more than a mother. I am here to tell you that God is more than a mother to you. He has compassion on you. He knows your hardship. He knows the path. He knows those areas where you are struggling in your spiritual life, in your family life in your health for some people. God is assuring you one more time, even if a mother will forget, even if that is true, God is saying, I will not forget you. Think about that. So don't you have a doubt on any circumstance. Don't ask God, don't make that prayer one more time. God, have you forgotten me? I don't know if you prayed that prayer. I have many times prayed that prayer. Thank you, Daniel, for lifting that hand. I'm not the only one that prayed that type of prayer. In our despair, sometimes we pray like that. And God understands those moments. But I'm here to tell you, that God is saying, I will not forget you. Amen. That is what God is telling you. Maybe you are a mother. Your children may have forgotten. Here we see such um, 
mothers, you know, the children have forgotten them. The children don't care for them anymore. They're all by themselves. They don't help the mothers. God is saying, even for such mothers, God is saying he will not forget you. God will never forget you. You can do anything. He will wait for you to come back to the Father. He will wait for you to repent. But he will never forget you. He will never, ever forget you. You have a God who is more than your mother. There may be some of us who have lost our mothers here on earth. They are in a good place with God. But God will raise up spiritual mothers that will pray for you. And God will make you a spiritual mother. It is time you become a spiritual mother and start praying for others. And God is saying that he will never forget you. He will not forget you. He knows all that you are going through. In fact, the next verse says that God has inscribed you on the palm of his hands. Isn't that good? God has inscribed you. And that means you and you and everyone that's watching. God has inscribed you. Not only he will remember you, he, will, he has inscribed you in the palm of his hands. And your walls are continually before him. That is the prophetic 